Charles Darwin wrote a book that changed science called On the Origin of Species. But how much did he know and were his ideas eventually proven to be correct? Find out how they work and what that means about our origin right now on Wonders Without Number. In Darwin's writings, he mentioned that he views that all life has had a common origin. We call this universal common descent, that we all share an ancestry at some point in time in the history of life. So at some point in time, trees were not trees. They were hmm. something else that evolved into a tree. That humans were not humans. We were something else that evolved into a human. We were some kind of tree shrew that became a primate that then became a human. Hmm. See, so the assumption evolution implies this is driven by speciation. So they would portray this, for example, a kingdom, let's say the kingdom of animals. Mm -hmm. Over time, you have evolution occur where now you have new phylums appearing, the phylum that's gonna include fish. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, see those fish evolve and they then take on new classes and orders and families and genuses, and then eventually species. And branch out from there. Right, and, and, and here's the thing, see we see a lot of variation in the world. Yes. Today. We yes. see some yes. adaptation yes. taking place in the world, mm -hmm. but but this cycle, they're trying to derive everything from Correct. one basic. Okay. They're trying to use this cycle to explain this. Uh -huh. And as creations, we'd say we don't deny the cycle in general terms, yes. but we challenge that it gives you this. Okay. And let me explain why.